It's really spiritually sickening when I take a look at social media and uh, Christian programming via TV and I see an abundance of the sharing of the gospel that is so far from biblical truth and so far from the heart of God. It just makes me sick to my stomach. But then it reminds me of the scripture that we read in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3 that says, For the time will come where men won't endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts, they will heap to themselves teachers that are willing to tickle their ears. We're living in a day and time where people preach a kind of a gospel that would have you believe that God is prepared to do all of these supernatural, wonderful things on your behalf, and it really costs you nothing. All you have to do is come to church and pay your money, and God is going to just open up the windows of heaven, and he's going to pour out and give you his favor, and you're going to be healthy and wealthy and prosperous, and the devil is a liar. Because Jesus, when he gave us the introduction to the gospel, he said, if any man will come after me, he must first be willing to deny himself. Self-denial is the first prerequisite that Jesus himself constituted as a requirement before even coming to him. And I don't hear a gospel that shares the reality that serving God is not about all that we're going to get, even though it does include that in moderation or in balance, I should say. It does include some of that in balance. But we have to be made aware of the whole story, the whole truth. And the whole truth is we are required to sacrifice and to suffer for the Lord Jesus. We are required to give up of ourselves and not be so much of our own way, but, but, but yield over our will to the will of God. And I'm not hearing that being preached as a major theme. So if you're one of them individuals that are willing to believe that God is prepared to do all of this great stuff for you, and you can still live in your sin, you can still practice your lawless ways, you don't have to really learn about the God of the Bible, you don't have to crucify your flesh or mortify the deeds of your flesh or bring your own actions and lifestyle into, sub into subjection to the biblical standards if you're one of the people that believe that then you are sadly mistaken and that is a deception and I want to be the preacher that lets you know there is no greater lie than that lie right there God does require holy living God does require a lifestyle he requires us to become students and student not only students of the word but to actually become people who live out the scriptures that we read we can't just hate people and expect that God is going to just bless us. We have to love people. We have to forgive other people. We have to live these biblical truths in order to really be in position to be in a true relationship with God. So my challenge to you is this that you question your own lifestyle, that you look at yourself in the mirror, and that you be honest with where you are in, in, in Christ. Be honest with yourself about where you are in Christ, and you see if your life measures up to biblical principles. And, where the, and wherever your life doesn't measure up, just be honest with God. Lord, I'm slipping in these areas. Lord, forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my... Uh, of my wayward ways and strengthen me in those areas and God will enter into a covenant with you he will come alongside you and empower you by his spirit to live these truths that he's teaching us so you don't have to settle for living a lie you don't have to settle for being a faker trying to make it you can be real about Christ and really walk in power and really walk in in spiritual abundance and really walk in God's favor but you have to be honest with where you are and God will step in and help you do the rest. You think about that. God bless you.